can you wrap up your overall your summer? I mean, it's how do you feel about it? As you've had a great meet, other than the deke, uh, you know, what, what are your feelings? Heading into Worlds. Yeah, post Olympic year and heading into Worlds, I'm uh, very happy with that meet. All best times and everything I swam. Uh, happy with the switch with Bob. I think I'm only going to get quicker these next three years, so uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a good journey. Is there one thing about Bob that you can, you know, it's, it's different that appeals to you? Something that works for you that you can share with us? Uh, I'm trying to put a positive spin on this. Okay, just oh, a good thing that. Yeah, I'm, I, I don't want to, I'm trying to come yeah. at it from a positive direction. Because, I mean, it's going to be, you're going to evolve in, di in different directions to yeah. get a new coach. Yeah, Bob's uh, very good with speed work, as you know, Michael has a hundred fly world record. He's just been great in the freestyles his whole career. So, uh, he already made a, a little switch in my stroke that's made uh, big, big dividends early on in these three weeks. So, next three years, a lot more quality work and try and get better at the hundred through the four hundred. Connor, how did, what has it been like for you these past 24 hours getting from the DQ to, to swimming the 200 IM tonight? Uh, I was pretty upset after the 4-3 because I wanted to swim that at Worlds, but obviously I deked, you saw the twitch, so uh, I had to get over it and get ready for today for the 2 IM. Was there any kind of extra emotion tonight in the 200 IM because you missed out on the freestyle? Yeah, I wanted to make the team in that, and I was, I was like I said, a little upset last night. Tonight, so came out uh, with a little attitude, trying to get it done tonight. Any particular stroke you think you need to work on more going into Worlds to get faster? Say the middle of my eye, the back press. If I can get quicker, I think I can get on the podium. Well, something I, I noticed, you know, your your splits. I guess it looked like your back and breast weren't too far off where Ryan was going. Yeah. So, I mean, you say your back and breast needs more work. I mean, you're you're pretty close to what Ryan's going. Close, yeah, but uh, it's got to get faster in the middle yeah. to beat him. Are you? And, and you said you got all lifetime best at this meet. Were you going in thinking that was going to be possible? I don't know. Post something year, I had mono in the fall. Uh, I was all over the place. I mean, my, I trained very really well, but not as much as I did last year. I was a little nervous, but uh, happy with how it went. Your family's up there in the stands. Not they came down here from from the Chicago area. Yeah. What's it been like to, to hang out with them and have them cheer you on? It's been good. A little more low key than Olympic trials. I don't really talk to them much uh, when I'm at a huge meet. But this was just fun hanging out with them. So I could tell they were really happy to see you make the team. And yeah, they're great. They're always in the stands going wild. You'll see them. And I understand, I didn't know this, you're, you're a twin, is that right? I am a twin, yeah. yeah. They've been swimming uh, in between the sessions with Schmidt and Rowdy and the Surhoffs, uh, so they've had a good group going. Yeah, I saw I saw one when Walking Dead, I was like, Connor's here, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> no, not me, yeah, my twin. <laughs> well, it's good to see them all swimming. It's a great family tradition you're upholding. Thank you. All right, good luck at Worlds. Thank you very much.